Good noon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to St. Joseph Church. In today's Holy Mass, let us include to our prayer the following intentions for the thanksgiving of Robert Gerson and family, Ophelia Gerson and family, Marlene Kureg, Shara May Saino and family, Rosel family, Raymond Chung and family, and Ethelin Gika. We pray for the birthdays of Ruby Marbella, Rolando Armenta, Orlando Armenta, Julie Sarmento, and Ethel Giga. Also, we pray for the fast healing and recovery of Jira Kureg, Norma Royeka, Amelita Napoles, and Agnes Chu. We pray for the souls of Guillermo Batacan, Ramon Baniked, Juliana Molina, Ernesto Donceras, Juana Pompa, Ignacio Donceras, Kim Charlie Rosales, Sergio C. Adlawan, Jose Lope, Macanio Bacod, Julie Malto, Nixia Malto, Vicente Malto, Gina Malto, Remedios Napoles, Elpidio Napoles, Belen Gordon, Erlinda Son Servacio, and uh, Carlos Yu, Jose Juan, Josefa, Angel Shane, Santos Misael, Dolores Bibiano, Jun Danis Nyo, Maximo Gika. Rowena Monino Derecho, Joseph Lloyd Derecho, Maria and Emilia Formentesa, Gilia Sidaya, Ramil Buot, and Jonathan Gonzalez. Also for the souls of Gemma Pala Palatau Ibuna, Carlos Armenta Sr., Hortensia Armenta, Bernardino Armenta, William Armenta, Jesus Armenta, Peyo Armenta, Luciana Bonafe, Leon Bonafe, Ludi Armenta, Joselito Aguinaldo, Emilia Aguinaldo, Jaime Aguinaldo Sr., Luisita Aguinaldo, and Sisenando Angeles. Also for the thanksgiving of Gemma Aguinaldo and family and Mr. and Mrs. Alex Lim and family. Today is Tuesday. We are in the 12th week in ordinary time. In today's gospel, Jesus utters the teaching that we call the golden rule. In the first reading, I see Abraham acting in just the way allowing Lot to choose the section of the land that he prefers. May we find in the golden rule a, grand, a great antidote to our selfishness. Our mass presider for today is Father Ambrose Mong. Let us all stand and worship the Holy Triune God. Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins 
and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrive of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us all be seated and listen attentively to the Word of God. A reading from the second book of Kings. Sennacherib, king of Assyria, sent invoice to Hezekiah with this message. Thus shall you say to Hezekiah, king of Judah, Do not let your God, on whom you rely, deceive you, by saying that Jerusalem will not be handed over the, to the king of Assyria. You have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all other countries. They domed them. Will you then be safe? Hezekiah took the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord. He prayed in the Lord's presence. O Lord, God of Israel, enthroned upon the cherubim, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made the heavens and the earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, which he sent to taunt the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands and cast their gods into the fire. They destroyed them because they were not gods, but the work of human hands, wood and stone. Therefore, O Lord, our God, save us from the power of this man that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone, O Lord, are God. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, sent this message to Hezekiah. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, in answer to your prayer for help against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have listened. This is the word the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you, loves you to scorn, the virgin daughter Zion. Behind you she wags her head, daughter Jerusalem. For out of Jerusalem shall come a remnant, and from Mount Zion survivors. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Therefore, though says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not reach the city, nor shoot an arrow at it, nor come before it with a shield nor cast up siege works against it. He shall return by the same way he came, without entering the city, says the Lord. I will shield and save this city for my own sake, and for the sake of my servant David. That night the angel of the Lord went forth and struck down 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. So Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, broke camp and went back home to Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised. In the city of our God, his holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. Response. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned in, is he as a stronghold. Response, God upholds his city forever. O God, we ponder your mercy within your temple 
as your name, O God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Of justice, your right hand is full. Response, God upholds his city forever. Let us all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs or throw your pearls before swine, lest they tremble them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have done would have them do to you this is the law and the prophets enter through the narrow gate for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction and those who enter through it are many how narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life and those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do not give what is holy to dogs. This means that consecrated meat, those that offered to God in the temple, from animal sacrificed in the temple, should not be given as food for dogs. Why? Nowadays, people treat the dogs very well. We give them very good food, treat as pets. But you must remember that for the Jews and for the Muslim as well, dogs are considered unclean animals so that is an extra reason for not giving them meat consecrated for purpose of divine worship for Muslim as well as Jews dogs are not an unclean animal they don't touch it similarly the passage continues something as precious as pearls should not be given to pigs. Again, for the Jews as well as Muslim, pigs are unclean animals. They do not eat pork. In other words, Jesus is telling his followers not indiscriminately to expose their beliefs to everyone, to all and sundry. Not everyone are ready to hear and accept the word of God. They might reject and even ridicule it. Faith is a gift. How often do you see people ridiculing, denigrating Christianity, making fun in the movies? 
in the media. Not everyone can accept the message of Christ, although it's meant for everyone. We have to be very careful. Especially when have things like Christian practices such as the celebration of the Eucharist and other sacraments. We do not accept people who are not baptized to receive communion. If you are not baptized, you cannot receive communion. Similarly, we do not celebrate the Eucharist with other Christian leaders like the pastor. No, because they don't have the same belief. We don't have we don't same share the same altar. We do not accept people into the Catholic community except after a long period of formation, catechism, at least one and a half years. Adults. We do not baptize people for nothing. We need to be have that faith, that knowledge before they are ready to be baptized. The long process. Faith in Christ is a gift. But not everyone receives it at once. Some people just don't have that faith and gift. And they make fun of it. So do not throw pearls to swine. You know what are pearls? Precious little thing put here or where? Don't throw it to the pigs. You wouldn't appreciate it. The second saying in today's gospel is the famous called the golden rule. It is not exclusive to Christianity. It's common. In Confucius says, do not do to others what you don't want them to do to you. But here, I want to emphasize that it is expressed in positive terms. Do to people what you want them to to do to you. If you want people to be polite and nice to you, then you be polite and nice to people. If you want people to be generous and caring and concerned, you do the same. Positive terms. In other teaching, in other religion, they say, do not do to others what you don't want people to do to you. If you don't want people to be rude to you, then don't be rude to others. The third saying, Jesus compares, contrasts the narrow gate with the wide gate. What do you mean by to follow the wide gate? The wide gate means easy. Do everything that you like. Anything you feel like doing. It is to follow your likes and dislikes, your dis instinct, whims and fancies. Whatever they, whatever they lead you, do whatever you like. That is the broad road, easy. But that is the road that will lead to your destruction. I said again before, freedom doesn't mean to do what you like, but to do what is right. If you do whatever you like, eat whatever you like, sleep whenever you like, it's gonna, not going to go anywhere. Ask the children, do you want to go to school? No. You want to play? Yes, whole day playing, easy. In the end, when they grow up as adults, it's going to be difficult for them. They destroy themselves. That is going to include following the roads of greed, self-centeredness, lies, deceit, even violence and hurt. That's the easy way of life. Do whatever you want. Easy going, broad way. We don't that. Our children cannot allow them to do that. If they want to play the whole day, of course you don't look like that. They're going to go to school. No discipline, nothing. That is the road, easy road. But it's going to be the road of destruction. The narrow gate 
It's not to be narrow-minded, no. The narrow gate is to be clearly focused on certain specific ways of thinking and acting, having your life guided by a clear sense of truth, principle and values. These truths, the principles and values which form the core of the gospel teaching, the narrow gate requires sacrifice, delayed satisfaction. The way of the cross that Jesus walked is full of suffering. Nobody wants to walk that way. They run away. If you want to do, if you want to be successful in anything in life, you need discipline. You need to sacrifice your comfort. You need to put in your hard work. That is the narrow gate. No pain, no gain without pain, they say. You need to put in effort. Similarly, our Christian living is not easy. You've got to be conscious. To forgive is not easy. To turn the other cheek is not easy. But that's the narrow gate. The way of the cross. The way of sorrow. We need to teach our children sense of self-sacrifice, giving way to others, frugal, easy to spend money but not e but easy to be frugal, safe for rainy days. You can't be partying the whole day, having enjoying the whole day, that would be terrible. You need to work. In other words, the way of Christ way of suffering that leads to life. That is clearly the narrow gate. A life focus on the values, the principles, and the core values of the gospel. Dying to yourself. It is a hard road, only in the sense that it requires discipline, focus, Spend time in prayer. It's true that relatively few people find it. Our culture is a culture of materialism, hedonism, like looking for pleasures, enjoying life all the time. But that's not the value of the gospel. That's why they promote the media. Shopping, drinking, eating, all the time. But there's business. We don't get caught up by that. Discern. Be frugal. Be conscious of the environment. Do not waste. Stop wasting electricity, water, clothes. We try to recycle them. Simple lifestyle. It's part of that. The gospel demands that. We be conscious of the way we use our resources so that the next generation may have something. In the long run, it's an easier way because it conforms more to the deepest needs and the desires of the human person. That's why you need to teach our children the narrow gate of discipline, of hard work, in the long run, their future will be more secure. The same thing in our Christian way of life, the hard road, the narrow road of self-sacrifice, giving, thinking of others, thinking of the welfare of others, that is the way that leads to life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ promises that the narrow gate leads to life eternal. Let us com come to our Heavenly Father with the trust and the confidence of the prayer our Lord taught us. Lord, open to us the door of grace. Lord, open to us the door of grace, that the leaders of the church may guide the flock to the door of the leads to life, we pray. Lord, open to us the door of grace, that as community, 
We may treat one another with respect, consideration, in love. We pray. Lord, open to us the door of grace. That employment agencies may truly serve and support the concern of their clients. We pray. Lord, open to us the door of grace. That all seafarers that may be protected by their work from all forms of abuse in that they may be committed and faithful to their families, we pray. Lord, open to us the door of grace. That all church volunteers may the Lord bless their generosity in sacrifices, we pray. Lord, open to us the grace of door. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, open to us the door of grace. Heavenly Father, create within us sincerity of heart so that we may love and respect others as you treasure them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us all be seated for the presentation of the gifts. my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good in the good of all his holy church receive O Lord the sacrifice of conciliation and praise and grant that cleansed by its action we may make offerings of our heart pleasing to you to Christ our Lord amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit live up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through Him with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels and as in joyful celebration, we acclaim.
for indeed holy, O Lord, the form of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to doubt the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Lord, we pray from every evil 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. Sing psalms to the name of the Lord Most High.
Let us pray. Renew and nourish by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son. We ask for your mercy, O Lord, that we, what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for the holy souls. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus. In union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family, amen. And on behalf of Tuesday Group, we would like to invite everyone to attend the El Shaddai Fellowship right after the Holy Mass. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.